let's inspect the code for the menu that we are creating and I'm going to inspect and I'm going to scroll to the bottom, click here, here you will find that here we have the div ID menu social and that's the, the container ID menu social. Also we're printing the menu ID social so we if we go back you can see we have UL ID social and also the class is going to be menu items right here. And the important part is this one right here. The span that is uh, with this class SR only for screen reader is hiding the text for the social or the social network that we are adding in the menu. So you can see we have SR only and we have this overflow hidden in these classes that comes from Bootstrap. So let's add the styling for this. And if you, if you remember, we added an ID with social. So I'm going to add social and I'm going to remove the bullets because we have these bullets right here. So we're going to add social, this style none, and this will remove the bullets. Then we add social, li, and we're going to add a position relative and a vertical and a display inline block. Next, we target the social li and we're going to add the before, a before. So before each anchor, we're going to add the following style and I'm going to display inline block again. Then we're going to add a vertical align. This will be top. Next, we add a padding, 0 pixels and 5 pixels. Then we're going to add the font family and we're going to be using font awesome. So this menu items are icons that comes from the font awesome uh, library then we add the size of each icon i'm gonna set this to 40 pixels so the icons are really big then we set the color for each icon and i'm gonna set this to white so we have a uh, white icons then we add a content and the content will be the icon itself so i'm gonna add uh, inverted slash then we're going to add F 0 A E and I'm going to save this and reload. You can see we have these icons and maybe maybe I'm missing something. See, yeah, right here. So now you can see this is the default icon, this one right here. So let's add the social menus. We're going to be using the attribute selector, so I'm going to be using social li a square brackets href, so we are targeting any, any anchor that has the href equals to facebook.com. Then we add before and we pass content, then we add the inverted slash f a f zero a two and you can save and reload and you can see now we have facebook so i'm gonna make three more copies copy one two three and four next one is gonna be plus that google the other one is gonna be twitter and finally it's gonna be youtube so let's change this content f zero d four F081 and F16A. So let's save this and reload. You can see now it's working. So maybe you are asking where did you get these values? If I open the font awesome site and I'm gonna open this and if I open the cheat sheet, you can see one of these. And I don't think this is the, the correct one. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to click here on icons. And maybe you are, uh, again, I'm going to add the Facebook example. Click here. And here you will find the Unicode for this icon. So this will be the number that you can apply. We added this Facebook square, so you can see that this number match 
to this one. You only have to add this inverted slash. So everything is working great. I think the, the icons look a little weird. So I'm gonna add WebKit font smoothing. And I'm gonna set this to anti aliased reload. Now you can see the icons are looking better. We're missing this one. I didn't notice that. So let's add something like a Let's see why it's not printing the end of the and this one is from Google. Yeah, I made a, a misspell here is I added three three O's and it's only two, so I'm gonna reload. And now you can see we have the Google Plus icon and everything is looking great. So with this we finish the home page. And maybe you are thinking that we're a lot of videos, of course, but we also create a lot of work. In the next video, we're going to start working with this About Us. And it's going to be faster. So see you in the next video.